So it's my fault that you put your willy in someone else's vagina. That is... Please. That please is insanity. You know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best of you. Well, a big fat hello Welcome to the show. To you. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Welcome back to Welcome the channel. Back. That actually going deep. deep. How, how deep? How can low? You... How deep can you go? All right, this is as deep as I can go. All right. Okay. This is me. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait. Try a. Uh, uh, uh. That... <laughs> I think I've got that quite low. Uh. Yeah, you could go quite. Uh. <laughs> try, uh, try, try and speak it though. So, so hello, happy how Wednesday. Can you go? How low? It's quite can you like go? it's quite a strain on the. It actually on the throat, is it, 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 on the vocal it, cords. It, it actually like hurts a little. Yeah. Oh. So that's like imagine singing every night on tour. Low. Wow, I know. I don't know how they do. Like, it. Well, they don't speak during the day. Kisses They're on vocal to rest. my exes who don't. Maybe give on tour a... we've got to be on vocal rest. You know, throughout the day. No, don't seriously. Don't talk to me, guys. I'm on vocal rest. Well, I remember that last show of our last tour, of that <laughs> six night tour. Honestly, I could barely speak. Remember, that was only six nights. I know. That's what I'm saying. Only six nights, well, and I was singing, like, just a bit of chatting on stage. I had phone. diarrhea. Mm, I had you were sickness. My head was throbbing. Mm, yeah. I was actually a mess. That's why it's How a health Sabrina retreat, do it? this next tour, health retreat. Yeah, too, right. Well, Olivia Star Rodrigo vibes. has that personal private chef coming on the road, making a salmon, mm, little a salad, making a beautiful breakfast bowls for mm. breakfast, little yogurt parfait. wonder if we could like, teach Mark to cook. I know. Unfortunately, Mark can only cook nuggets. He can't even cook them. Can't even cook them. Can he can just them. about get himself to McDonald's and back. Mm. And we love him for um, it. And we love him for it. We don't, yeah. So happy Wednesday, everybody. Yes, a big fat happy Wednesday. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Um, should we just get straight on with the question of the week? Yes. Or now, got anything else you'd like to talk about before we begin? Um, nothing to report, to be honest with you guys. Nothing to report? No. Yeah, we've Absolutely. seen quite a lot of each other this week. So our, <laughs> our conversations are yeah. uh, dwindling I mean, at a rapid we've, rate. We've filled each other. I mean, you can take a look at my new nails if you'd like. If you're if you're watching on YouTube. Audio, I'll this, explain. We've got a blue French tip. This was a two hour and 45 minute job. I swear on my, I was losing my wits end. And then I love Chi to death. I love Chi to death. She does a great job, but she was taking pictures of my nails for about 15, 20 minutes. Well, she's thought I've worked hard on these. Yeah, I know. Content. She's worked hard. But you know, when I've been, my butt, like, I've been sat there, but I've, obviously I'm cooperating. I'm mm -hmm. obviously doing the hand poses. I'm making the you fingers know. look as long and lean as possible. Yeah, you know, trying to stop the look baby. Natural. What are these called? Pinky fingers from twitching and mm -hmm. stuff. But you know, you know, when you're just ready to leave at that yeah. point, you know, ready need to, to get wait. Out of there. You know, it was a photo shoot, the but sun of course, is setting. they're a fantastic, they're one of our best. So we've got a baby blue French tip. Absolutely. And we've got a different piece of fruit on each now. So we're starting with a lemon. Then we go to, is it strawberry? Then we go to a, just a little flower. A little flower. Just because. Why not? Yeah, I wasn't sure on what other fruit. Yeah, why not? Then we've got a strawb. Cute. Then we've got an orange. And then we've got blueberries because they're the, honestly, the blueberries are the cutest. Slay. No, the lemon is so, no, the orange, what is that? An orange is so cute. They're all so cute. And I thought the baby blue tip was different for me. Brilliant. Happy Bringing Wednesday, new nails. It's a good day. New nails, new me, ready so, to slay the day. It is boy talk. And I'm very excited about yes, this question of the week. Oh my God, I just remember what the question of the week is. So we've had before, what does your partner call your lady parts? Personal and favorite we've had is... Mary, Bloody Mary yes. for the period. Yes. We've had, what was some of our favorites? Um, I mean, we've got Vizun, um, we've got, I mean, it was like gorilla and orangutan and stuff like Ham that. Sandwich. Ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the like furry animals that I didn't. Yes. <laughs> so we thought this was it week, beaver? <laughs> we would take <laughs> a look like on the other side of life. Yeah. What do you call your man's private parts? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like these names aren't going to be as cute. Let's face it. I think vaginas are way more aesthetically pleasing oh, than absolutely. a willy. Absolutely. Like, it looks like a flower. It's it's the portal of life. Like yeah. they serve so much more purpose. I mean, obviously the willy serves They bring life into the world. You know, and they bear children. They're beautiful. Like they're symmetrical. They're yeah. like flowery. You know, they, they resemble a flower from nature. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The man's favorite parts, however. Okay. Oh my God, here we oh, go, guys. Oh, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Starting with yeah. Little Pickle. 
<laughs> oh, that must hurt We've him. Got... Lick your little pickle. Winky. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of willies. Willy woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> Nobby. Also because his favourite character is Dobby from Harry Potter. Okay, Nobby. Weenies when small. Wilbertross when big. <laughs> Sounds like a dinosaur. It's like your alter ego. Weenie and Wilbertross. <laughs> Parsnip. <laughs> Disco stick. Disco stick. Witch. Personal. Winky. Sausage. Sausage. Willy. A lot of willies. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, call it I'm a willy. a willy in the willy camp. Fred. Don't ask why it just happened. <laughs> His rumpy pump. <laughs> <laughs> Venus. Venus. Lil Mick. The thing. The thing. Benedict. Benedict. Another little pickle. Squishy. Squishy. <laughs> Mini pepperami. <laughs> That's got to hurt their soul. Peepo. <laughs> Put your little mini pepperami away. That has got the to worm. literally hurt. <laughs> what is the thing called in Doom? Chipolata. Chipolata. What is the big... It's prawn. Oh, it's little prawn. What's the big worm thing called in Doom? Oh, I don't know Has it got a special that. name? Yeah, I think it does. I don't know. It's like my something, head. something, the worm. That'd be a good name for a willy. We've got Knob. Dave. No. Dave. Wee Willy Winky. <laughs> Tinky Winky, <laughs> Tinkle, okay. Doodle, Schlong, Schlong, Pablo, Red Rocket, <laughs> Ew, Red Roll Rocket, Me and Two Veg, <laughs> okay. Wilbur, Squidgy, Squ Chopper, <laughs> Terry, <laughs> Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, <laughs> their milk nostril. <laughs> Ew! Ew, ew, ew. Trouser snake. <laughs> Trouser snake. Ew. Dingle dangle. Dingle dangle. Um, Graham. Graham. Um, thanks to this podcast, I'm now calling it his little Brian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I love. Todger. That. Todger. Simply him slash he. Okay. Oh, he. Yeah, him. Yeah. Um, Put him away. <laughs> Where is he away? today? Is he not coming out to play today? <laughs> is he feeling shy today? Is Willy Wonka not coming out today? <laughs> uh, floof. Woody. Wormy. I feel like I've maybe already said this. Gear stick. <laughs> <laughs> Take this wormy. up again. Wormy. Wormy. Uh, oh wee my. sausage. Meat uh, sausage. Peeny. Peeny. Eeny weeny peeny. <laughs> And we'll People leave it there. End it there. <laughs> Where's oh. Eeny Weeny Peeny today? <laughs> Personal favourites. Um, the ones you had at the start. They I can't were remember. Funny. Winky. Winky Dinky. Rumpy Pump. <laughs> Rumpy Pump. Personal favourites. Willy Woo Woo. <laughs> Willy Woo Woo. Oh. There might be mini pepperoni. Thank you for sharing, guys. That oh. was really enjoyable. That was lovely. We need to do the funny second names again from men that you've yeah, dated because that. that one makes me howl yeah, we're dying to do that that one makes me hoot all right let's get into some dilemmas it's boy talk settle down let's get it let's do this let's get it little brian's let's get it okay hate to say it every girl's worst nightmare i'm the girl best friend but i've caught feelings and he has a girlfriend I mean, yeah, I hate to say it. This is every girl's worst nightmare, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's like, of like, we're just friends, babe. Of course it's never like that. Mm. She sees then me as is. a brother. Hey girls, the classic long time listener, first time writer. Classic. You've been my most listened Aww. to podcast on Spotify for the past four years. Sarah. Love you both so much, you're hilarious. Thank you so much. And Sarah, you can't control your feelings, I understand. I've right? got the best and solid female friendships a girl could wish for. I went to an all girls school for the whole of secondary, so I never really had any male friendships in my life. Mm -hmm. I went to uni down south where I made the most incredible friends in my first two years. Then my third year came and I moved back up north to complete my placement. Mm -hmm. It was pretty hard at first because I had to leave all my friends from uni and move back home where none of my school friends were as they were still completing their degrees in their uni cities. Mm -hmm. yep. So naturally, I was hoping that my placement year would bring me some great friends I could spend time with here. My first day, there was a group of us that instantly clicked and we were inseparable the whole year. The group was a mix of girls and boys. And in particular, I got very close with one of the boys, Brian, but he had slash has a long-term girlfriend of eight years. We're 23. So they've been together since they were 15-ish. 
This wasn't really ever an issue because we literally did become best friends very quickly as we both saw ourselves in each other. However, after a few months of us spending every day in the office together and weekends with the friendship group, both of us kind of started developing feelings without realizing. Both of you. We appreciate the honesty. The extra layer to this is that I also had a long-term boyfriend at the time. However, I broke up with him for various reasons before anything with Brian really started happening. After my breakup, Brian became kind of the dominant male friend in my life that I'd never really had before. Mm -hmm. And I started turning to him more than usual as he filled that void that was now empty. That that like male energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Post breakup, about six months into the year of work, Brian started to voice the thoughts and feelings he had been holding in whilst I was in a relationship. He'd tell me I was looking gorgeous in the office. He was sending me flirty gifts, um, buying me lunches, taking me on drives after work, replying to every Instagram story with a fire emoji or compliment, and even telling me he wishes I could sleep over with him in his bed. So it's completely moved away from like, we're brother and sister, don't worry about anything. It's it's very clear where mm. you guys stand with each other. I know it doesn't make me a great person, but I definitely reciprocated some of these actions and enjoyed being flirty and the attention from him. Partly because I was missing that male attention that I was so mm-hmm. used to from a boyfriend, but also subconsciously, I was happy to hear all these things from him about me. And you liked him, mm. you know? And you're also thinking selfishly like, I'm single now, so I can do what I like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The months go by and me and Brian become a bit too close to the point that others in the group start noticing and also to the point where I began to feel guilty for his girlfriend as she had no idea any of this was going on. And where is she? Three hours. She lives further away. There were a couple of occasions in which she came to visit and came out with us after work. However, me and Brian were completely different when she was here compared to when she wasn't. This is when I began to realize that I was the girl best friend, the one they tell you not to worry about, that had officially caught feelings. I found myself never wanting to be apart from him, getting jealous of her when he'd gone home to do stuff with her. But I used to get a thrill off Brian getting jealous or annoyed when I would tell him about other boys that I've been on dates with. Well, yeah, because it's like you want to give it back to him. It's like you've Mm. got a fucking girlfriend of eight years. Yeah. So I need to do something here, you Mm. know, at least. I'd also find him giving out male perspective advice that was the complete opposite to what my girlfriends were telling me to do. Okay, so you're speaking to him about guys you've been on dates with and he's telling you opposite of what your friends are. And I couldn't help but think this was because he was trying to sabotage my Mm -hmm. dates as Mm -hmm. he couldn't bear the thought of someone else having me. Mm -hmm. Just put in brackets, I know I sound a Lulu. Anyway. No, that makes so much sense. Of course he was. Mm. And also... When the girlfriend lives three hours away, it's very easy for you to pretend that she doesn't exist. And for him. And for him. You're not seeing her every day. You don't really Mm. know who this girl Mm. is. Like, it's very easy for you just to put it out of your mind and think, oh, she's not really real. I just can't believe that she's actually come out with you guys a couple times. Like, you've met her. I wonder what she thinks of you. She must have caught a vibe. But no. if you're very different when maybe, I don't know. I yeah, know. Yeah. And obviously like, yeah, they don't live together. So like, she's not like seeing him, like seeing his phone, mm. you know, like, oh my God. Okay. Anyway, placement year finishes. I move back down south to uni. He moves even more north. Okay. So we are now on opposite ends of the country. That's He's good. practically in Scotland and I'm basically on the White Cliffs of Dover. We FaceTime regularly and message every day, but oh my God. FaceTime regularly. But I always found myself drunk calling him and confessing my feelings. Last week, he called me to tell me that it can't keep happening and I need to start giving his girlfriend some respect. (laughs) Respect your own girlfriend first. Please. Fucking hell, please. Who do you think you are? You've been set fire to every single Instagram story. Have some respect. Saying I'm gorgeous. And now you've got a conscience. So when she's around, you act like I don't exist. And then when it's just me and you, you're like snuggling up on me. Mm. Last week he called That's me to tell rich. me Is that, that it can't saying? keep happening. I need to start giving his government some respect. And That's realize rich. that I can't call him as much as I am. He said these exact words to me on text. 
Susan, I really like you. I genuinely think if I wasn't with Sarah, we would be together. You're beautiful and amazing in so many ways, but you've got to accept the past is the past. And no matter what happened with us, she's my life and always will be. But my feelings for you will never change. What the fuck does that mean? What are you on about, mate? Obviously, this sent me into a massive spiral and I just replied with the classic, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Don't worry, I know. Mm -hmm. But I have to admit, I was gutted, even though I always knew nothing would happen between us because he had a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I really struggled adjusting from being together every day and having yeah. this guy in my life that I could be myself around, tell everything to. Mm -hmm. Even little things like him not being one of my loyal Insta story likers anymore was getting to me. But what I found the hardest was realizing that I was just filling in the pieces for the absence of his girlfriend whilst they were long distance. We're mm -hmm. still great friends now, but we've grown apart since obviously not being together every day anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely mourning that, but I'm also really struggling with the what if factor. The what if he never had a girlfriend? What if she ever found out about how we were behaving? Mm -hmm. For him, was it just the hype of getting to know someone new when you've only ever been with one person? What if he wasn't forbidden fruit? Would I even still like him in that way? Mm -hmm. It's a very good, good question, question to ask. That. Nothing ever happened between us physically, but I guess what I'm asking is, how do I deal with this? How do I deal watching him live the life with his girlfriend, but partly wishing it was me? Mm -hmm. Do I just firm it and tell myself it's never going to happen, enjoy the friendship we have, or do I hope for a love rosy situation? situation any advice would be greatly appreciated sorry it was so long needed to get this out for a while can't wait to see you on tour lots of love we can't wait to see you in September. i mean this is like i mean it's like a nightmare like you're emotionally getting so attached you found to yourself someone. in this pickle you yeah found, you know you found someone who you trusted who you got along so well with after. you felt so comfortable around them. you could laugh with them tell them anything and like he had no intention ever no. Of, of, and I'm of sure, being with you, like, actually. Yeah. And I'm sure, like, day in, day out, like, his girlfriend wasn't really on your mind because she's three hours away. If yeah. he's not bringing her up, like, you're yeah. kind of thinking, like, oh, maybe things are on the rocks. Maybe they are going to break mm -hmm. up. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know who this girl is. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. but I also think, like, what we always say you wouldn't want your boyfriend behaving like that. You wouldn't want your boyfriend sending fire emojis oh to every God. girl's story, giving them compliments. You wouldn't want your boyfriend essentially leading other girls on and having this flirty He was cheating, I mean, che cheating on Emotionally you. cheating vibe. Like, you... So just try and focus on that and let that put him off you. Like, like he's a shit boyfriend. He's a shit boyfriend. He's You've one of the worst boyfriends. Hand how bad of a boyfriend he is because of how he's behaved with you he's literally one of the worst boyfriends ever. yeah so yeah imagine you guys get together right and then he's off to a new job you're gonna be paranoid that he's meeting new women flirting yeah. with them messaging them la 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 to him i think it was all just a bit of fun and games i think you hit the nail on the head like you were filling that absence while his girlfriend was away that female energy that, just like you described him as kind mm. of filling in that male void when you dumped your mm. boyfriend i think and now he's back with his girlfriend up north or closer to where mm -hmm. she is like yeah it's 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 drifting but i think mm. you also need to like let go of this friendship like it's not a healthy you, friendship it's not serving you it's, it's not, not doing friendship. you any good it's not a friendship it, it, it for me it's 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 like you guys had a little situation ship yeah. verging on like it was very much based on tension and and sexual chemistry and will we won't we we shouldn't but do we want to yeah like chase vibes and like he probably was like gonna you know do something with you you know like it was it was it was like a situation shit thing. like you emotionally got attached to this guy yeah so now you need to detach fair enough if like you're in a friendship group you want to still follow him mute him mute don't ever stalk him no don't ever stalk his girlfriend you gotta have self-discipline you need to because Every time you stalk him, see her with him, see him doing something like, you're going to spiral again. Yeah. You're going to spiral again. And then you're going to start going off and thinking about what if, mm. what what would have happened? What if you didn't have her? And every time you see an image of him and her or just him or her, just her, mm. you're going to spiral again. And also so like the what ifs are just so unproductive because mm. at the end of the day, that's not what happened. The what ifs is irrelevant mm -hmm. because also, you know, you met him 
you were feeling some type of way, you broke up with your boyfriend. He could have if he wanted to, exactly. if he felt these things and it was undeniable and X, Y, and Z, mm. he could have broke up with his girlfriend and you guys could have, like you were together almost every day for you like a year. You were in the same year. city. You were in the same city. Mm -hmm. You could have been together mm -hmm. and it, 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 it wasn't gonna happen. It wasn't meant to be. Let this put you off him. You don't wanna be with a guy who's acting like this when his girlfriend's three hours away. No, like feel and sorry for her. Don't, yeah. Don't don't crave him. Like, I feel sorry for his girlfriend because yeah. she's had no idea what he's been up to for the past year. No. Also, isn't good. Like, what's he up to now? Fuck yeah. knows. And what, but that's sometimes, how he's going to treat like, you. Sometimes these situations can be harder to get over than like real situations because it is all of that. What if? It's and the romanticizing. It's all your imagination. It's like, the romanticizing. You're picturing if things could have been different and this and that and something that never actually came like, to fruition can sometimes be harder to get over than something that actually did because well, yeah. it never, it's all just your like, your fantasy of it basically. Well, Cause you're romanticizing him breaking up with his girlfriend finally after Having years. this big admission of love. And then having this like love story like Love Rosie, mm. yes. But then Don't we have to remind that ourselves soon, that is a movie that was fiction. Mm. Actually it was based on the truth. What's that? <laughs> Don't tell sure that. <laughs> But like you're romanticizing, yeah, him breaking up with his girlfriend, jumping yeah. into a relationship with you. But the reality of that is like, actually, our relationship has started off with you cheating on a girl. Right. We're and off then, to a and bad then start we're off to a bad is. start. Then you're jumping straight into a relationship with me. I want you to, you've not healed. Mm. You've not. I'm just filling eight, in someone else's shoes an now. An eight year relationship. Yeah. Like you're going to start calling me Helen. Like you're going to forget that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then also he's starting a new job. Oh, well, is he acting like, how he did with me with all Don't these other women. Don't romanticize it. You need to see the not. facts. Like, yes, on, pa on, on paper, it's like, oh my God, fall in love. We met at work. He broke up with his girlfriend. Ah. Oh. Mm. But r Don't the reality of that it. is like, he is not a good boyfriend. No. He's treating his girlfriend like shit. He's probably going to, like, he's obviously got away with it. Mm. So he's going to keep doing it. He probably would have done that to you if he got, he, it's, 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 it's bad not news. He's bad news. You've dodged a bullet. And, and you I need think to it's a blessing. Switch the narrative in your brain yeah. of how you see him. Like, yes, I got on with him. Great. <laughs> and he was I attractive. I on with a lot of people. The facts are, he's been with a girlfriend for eight years. He's He wasn't even close to breaking up with her. No. He just chats a lot of shit. Oh, you're amazing. You're beautiful. If I wasn't, if I wasn't with her, why are you fucking why stringing you me along? That? Fuck off. Yeah. Actually, you just like off. the fact that I'm obsessed with you. You don't yeah. like me. Like he knows exactly, it was all a game to him. Yeah. Like he, your feelings, he did not care about your feelings one bit. No. He knew exactly what he was doing. He had no remorse. No. Stop calling me. You, she's my life. Mm. Okay, okay, fuck off then. Yeah. Like you got in too deep, lesson learned, you know, let's move on with yeah, life. Yeah, I think on mute the him, next. honestly, if you're try and get some distraction, I try and meet some, get on a dating app, try and meet some people, realize that you can have chemistry with other people. Yes. There's more people out there that you get on with and you can build a connection with. I like you want to meet a single guy who's available. Right. Be like, okay, you know, see yeah. that as like, you wow. want to meet a guy who wants to date and is single and ready yeah. to go out there and is emotionally and ready is looking and for something. doesn't have baggage and like yeah. you want to be that, that's what you deserve so like focus on that mm, like agree. you know wh why am I even hung up on a guy who's literally in a relationship for eight years like just remind yourself just be strict don't stalk him don't stalk him don't stalk him please this potentially could be one of our most serious writings of, of, the, of the decade this has got subheadings well, this is like a whole Italics, life. bold. This is a whole life, not 360, 180. 180. 360, we're coming back to the same spot. Mm. 180, so we're actually flipping it on its head. Mm. So Sarah here has said, he broke my heart, stole our business, <laughs> and left the country all within 48 hours. Bloody hell, he wasted no time. The audacity of some men is through this the roof. This must have been planned to the T, which is scary. Premeditated. This was extremely premeditated. And this is extreme. This is a deception mm. at its finest, right? Hey girls, huge fan of the pod and can't wait to see you in September. Thank you, Sarah. I'm sorry you're going through I this. I hope we've got things sorted out for you by Me then. Me too. It's well, it's a couple a months of healing. Never thought I'd be writing in, but... Haven't I got the ultimate Brian story for you? Sarah, thank, thank you for you. your sharing. Yeah, but I appreciate, appreciate this it. is your real life. And mm -hmm. this sounds traumatic. 
So my ex broke my heart, stole our business and left the country all in the same 48 hours. Backstory. Do we need to file a police report? Do we have to hunt him down? Or did that man say on the good morning and burn it to the ground? Oh God, it's this morning. On this morning. My ex and I met four, so this is the backstory. Okay. So we can gain some perspective perspective on the situation. Perspective. Listen up. My ex and I met four years ago as friends and reconnected last winter. So it's our whirlwind romance. Mm. So this is all, it's giving. AKA love bombing. It's exactly what it's giving. Our whirlwind romance took us around the world traveling together. We are both business driven people and we're ready to settle down. At first he treated me like a princess. They always do. Love bomb, buying me flowers, giving me the ultimate wifey treatment. But it wasn't long before Brian's red flags and insecurities crept in. This is written like a poem as well. He didn't like me not wearing a bra because he thought it was attention seeking. Oh, please. Insecure. Stopped me from talking to my male friends and even once left me stranded in a random city because someone complimented me. (gasps) That is horrendous. That is so, the the insecurities of this little man child are, you know, like you should be proud of the fact that men are complimenting me. Like be proud. That should be a compliment to you Like that should be, exactly. You should be like, haha, you know, that's lovely. Wow. Wow, stranding you. Shit me, what a fucking freak. I couldn't even look around a room without being accused of trying to catch other men's attentions. This is awful. Scary man. Scary man. Oh, and he crashed my car and didn't pay for it, leaving me to fork out for a new one, which has not been easy as I work for myself. Who is this freak? Oh my God. Right, so that's the backstory. He's a freak. (laughs) Freak of the week. An insecure man-child freak Mm -hmm. is what I call him. I'd love to see a picture of this said man. Shall I see if there's one? Yeah, scroll to the bottom. (laughs) Wait, no, it's to do with the business. It was to do with the business. There was pictures, there was like evidence down <gasps> there. It was like a crime scene, not crime, but like but business evidence. Oh my God. Okay, Papers. sorry, I can't. Tax documents, it, 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 VAT was, numbers. it was like a carpet and like boxes. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, guys, okay. <gasps> okay, buckle your seatbelts. Oh, okay. So this now takes us on to the business drama. So that was our background. Because you said you were both business driven. Yeah. During our travels, we started a cosmetics business together. Agree, oh my God. Really, it's made by Mitchell. Agreeing, it's not made by Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> Agreeing on a 50 50 partnership. I handled the website, branding, marketing, photography, and packaging orders up while he focused on sales and being the face of the brand. He's Mitchell. the face. <laughs> Mitchell? Joking. I'm joking. Just kidding. We love you, Mitchell. As he had a bigger reach on his socials. M- Mitchell? <laughs> Some people are going to know who this man is. He's a face on socials for a cosmetic brand and it's not Mitchell. It's not Mitchell. Sorry, Mitchell. And a bigger given us so, the name of the brand. So she was taking care of all the behind the scenes stuff and he was the face of socials. Okay. Really making he's the, the sales for the, the people. Show. Yeah, because he's a narcissist. Mm. He, could, he, he probably doesn't even allow her on socials because mm. he's insecure. We kept the products at my family home as he would often work away as the business took off with over 500 orders in the first month. Amazing. I bet it was good product. Congratulations. Red flags started popping up. Brian insisted profits stay in his account. Refused Mm. a shared account. We have a business together. Didn't want to sign a contract. Hid the supplier details by cropping out his number on every screenshot he has ever shared with me. And constantly belittled my role despite me initially investing more money in the business. Mm. Honestly, you can't write this stuff. So he was a red flag in relationship and business. Yeah. Secretive. Um, Wanting to keep the control. Lying, you know, yeah. hogging the money. Purposefully not allowing you in on stuff. And just red Didn't want you galore. to get to, yeah. Didn't want you to have a piece of the pie. So he yeah. knew in his head, he knew this was all mine. And yeah. he knew he was going to snatch this off your hands. Yeah. Because you were working so, you, but he wouldn't have a business if it wasn't for you. No. The breakup. Whilst he was away for work, things fell off. Normally he would FaceTime me all day, but our conversations were forced this time. He hadn't said, I love you in a month. Mm -hmm. And only talked business. 
Yeah. When, business partners it's gone very professional very yeah, quickly when he landed home he didn't even plan to see me not until huh? we said we need to talk we met at a bar and i was greeted with accusations about my past oh fuck oh, off. please get a group fuck what's off. that got to do with anything uh, the main one being how i was intimate with a friend of his five years ago before i even knew him like these are oh, not even God. things we should be discussing like you can't For what? Punish me for a past that I had five, five years, years ago. ago when I didn't know you existed. Grow up. Yeah. Clutching at straws. Yeah. It, well, it's clear to me that he's probably been cheating on you rampantly, mm, right? Because that's what happens. Then that's why they then start accusing you of such. So, I've yeah. not done it. I, okay, I slept with your friend five years ago. I didn't know who you were. No. Like, that's not even a problem. But meanwhile, he had sex with a woman last night. Yeah. And it's, it's all And he's a, justified it because it, he's telling himself, you slept with my friend five years right. ago. It's all projection of what they're actually getting up to. Yeah. That's even with the like looking at boys and like you not being able to look around because he's, he's looking, looking at every at woman that, he, that enters the room. Because mm. what is it? It's like when you're looking for a yellow car, you see a yellow yellow car exactly. like when you're looking for shit like that it's because it's what's in your brain and it's what you're yeah, doing and it's also what he's doing yeah exactly yeah. so he's just paranoid that you're doing the same to him as what he's doing to you because he knows how easy it is and how right it can happen because well, he's doing this it. guy sounds like he's a he's flat getting on planes mm. for, for work work <laughs> to be the face of the of the brand the brand okay oh my god what now? So they've gone to this bar, bringing up issues. Accusations left, right yeah, and center. Yeah, the main one being how I was intimate with a friend of his five years ago before I even knew That's him. That's irrelevant. Next. Next. Not to mention a friend he doesn't even like. Right. He called me a slag and a <gasps> liar saying how he wasn't proud to hold my hand down the street oh, anymore. Who the fuck are you, you fucking freak? Please leave. Get Please out of my leave. little life. What a manipulative, get narcissist, like, the way he's trying no. to make you feel. Am I supposed to apologize in this situation? Well, exactly. Am I supposed to apologize? That's what narcissists do. Yeah. That everything is your fault. Mm. Like, oh, you've got a problem with me. Well, I've got a problem with you. And it's Am just I, like, yeah. and they take it like you're like, who the fuck are yeah. you? So that then you forget about what you your problem well, even then, was. And you feel like yeah, you've like, got a. Uh, mm. he, oh, okay. Okay. And he hadn't for months now as he had been holding this in for a while. Gr li grow actually up. grow up he even scrolled through my instagram questioning me on every man i follow and made me feel so small and worthless <sighs> he's a loser i hadn't even processed what happened in the next morning i woke up to a knock at my door at 8 a.m it was brian oh my god he had showed up at my family home <gasps> acting like nothing had happened what? no mention of the breakup whatsoever he tried to keep it professional and spent 12, 12 hours together packing orders he would accidentally so like we broke up last night right and you're just knocking <laughs> on he would accidentally call me babe and then instantly correct himself but by the end of the day he blew up again he, this is a scary man oh my God. conveniently once most of the orders were done hmm. yeah he's just there for the money Claiming I wasn't entitled to any of the business. Who? Right, we need to lawyer oh up. God. Don't we? We need to get our ducks in a row, that's for sure. We need to lawyer up. Claiming I wasn't entitled to any of the business and began packing up all of our stock and took everything. <gasps> we had just had months worth of stock delivered and he took every last thing and drove oh off. Oh my God. This is like, we need the police. I have never felt so used in my life and I feel like it was his plan all along. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Leaving me with product shoot bills, the loss of my initial investment, my profit and time and a broken car. Oh, and a broken heart. And a broken heart. Oh my fucking Oh gosh. my God. What? So where are we at now? Because obviously she's got no where access to, us? no access to the bank accounts no i've got no access to i've got no contract you know conveniently you came around so that we'd send off those orders and then you, and you just could take snatched him. all the stock mm. stock because he knew that stock was kept at your house we have not spoke since however he is posting that he is on holiday two days after our breakup which i can only assume is with the profits we have made he's just snatched oh, the money and ran oh off God. he's also continuing to use the branding photos logo and content i created on his ig story to sell more product who is, Who this, is this freak? Dilemma. Oh, so my dilemma yet. is, oh my God. well, it's what do I do now? Should I restart the business on my own? I loved it, but I'm financially drained and have a fear of it not working. 
Mm. Do I break no contact and demand my money back even though he refuses to give me any and he will just ignore me? Looking back on the stories he told me about his exes being psychos. Mm. Yeah, it's making sense now, yeah, isn't it? It's clear he used them. He used them too, keeping a house with one of them for nine years because he believes it's all his and she's entitled to none of it. Oh my God, this man is like... It's giving deja vu, yeah. Wow. There is so much going on in my mind and part of me wants to give up, move on and let this be the end so I can be free from this horrible man. Mm. I mean, yeah, sometimes it's just like... Can't put a price on peace. There you go. But I don't know, if you've invested like a lot, then you definitely can't. But I loved on doing it. this business so much. I feel so stuck and lost because this isn't a normal breakup. Yeah, it's, no, it's not. not. It's so much more complicated. And normal than that. advice isn't helping. The worst part of this is that I loved him and never expected the man I cared for to do this to me and ruin everything and go on acting like we didn't exist. Mm. He's a narcissist. It was all. It was. All, it was all. It was all a show. It was. Mm. It was never real. No. It was all tell yourself like it was. Ne he was never real. No. He he lured you in. He used you for your business, mm. and it worked. And it worked. Help. What should I do, girls? I've attached some pictures so you can paint a picture. Right here we go. Oh my god. Thank you so much for listening to my ultimate Brian story. Right. This appears to be uh, the bottles that we're putting the products the in. products in. So this is the order of the um the the bottles that he seems to have stole. There he is, uh, assumingly in the stock room about to snatch them. I think that's him. Oh my God. Got a pair of white Air Force on. At least they're clean. Oh my God, this is him. Oh my God. Oh my, f oh my, do we zoom in on him? I can tell he fancies himself. <laughs> does he, does he? Yeah. Of course he does. And you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. Oh God, literally. Oh my God, right, let's scary. keep scrolling. Why does he look like that in every pic? Uh, stop posing. It's a cute couple selfie. Stop yeah. fucking smizing at the camera, you freak. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Uh, yeah. Oh, here he is. Oh. Let's see what else have we got? Oh, we're in the sand. I mean, that's quite cute. But it was all deceit and lies. <laughs> that's quite a cute pic, but he's a twin. Oh my God. This is the this is the brand. We can find him right now. Oh my God, we're gonna Sophia. find it. Sophia. Bear with us, we're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. <laughs> okay, that was our last image. Okay, so we, we've got clarity on what the business is, what he looks this is like. This is like a swindler situation. It's a swindle. Mm. He swindled the whole situation. Tinder swindler, he swindled you. Honestly, right, I don't even so know what you do in this situation. Neither do I. Because this is serious. This is like, this is, I mean, my advice, but, but he's wrung her dry financially though. I know. Can't get a lawyer. But got no it would be left. get a lawyer and mm. say, what can I do here? Some professional advice. Uh, I have evidence of, obviously I don't know what I'm talking about, but I have evidence of all the work I've done in this business. I have evidence of my investment. Mm. I have evidence of criminal activity, him sna fucking snatching the Theft. start. Theft. But then you've not got a contract. So like legally, is it a case of like, oh my God. you have it, nothing to stand on. Yeah. But I, I'm sure because you made an investment Financial also, investment. you have... Then you maybe just try and get on a phone with a lawyer, explain the situation and just get some advice. That might mm. cost you a bit, just like a consultation. Don't know if lawyers do that. Mm. Or would they just chat to you for free? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not, but they'll try because they charge per hour, hey? Mm. So maybe try and get on the call for half an hour. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes. 45 and explain the situation and just see if they think you, there's anything you can do. If they If they say, look, you not got a contract, There's, we've got nothing in writing. Uh, if this was Soph, I'd say, let's just fucking act like that never happened. happened. Like, what a scary it's narcissist. It's one of those things that's like, I don't really know what you can can do. Like, Well, because he's scary. Like, what is he going to do next? Like, he's obviously unpredictable. And also, it's also on that line of like, I want you out of my life and I don't want to get into, yeah. you know, talks or trying to get in contact with you about I want this and I want this because yeah like you said like you can say I want my money back this and that he could just ignore you he I don't know can you go to the police because but he didn't steal money from you like it was investment in a business I don't really know the legality because I imagine like what you're entitled to or what you're not I have, I have no, no idea. idea we're not really the right people uh, uh, for that because I feel like obviously the bank account is in his name right he, you know he knew he was going to do this from the start yeah so it was all very purposeful he planned it all out and you know 
lured you in, you know. You trusted uh, him. Love bo- he loved bombed you so that you would fall in love with him so that you wouldn't question his behavior up and until now. And him having now. control. And him having control. He's a scary, like, I, I don't even want you to like ever see, like, I don't know what this guy's gonna do. Mm. I mean, he's, thank God he's gone, I guess. He's out of your life. I know, but then when it comes but, to, if you but if you want to go after your money, this is your business, this is your baby that you built. I know. Would you start it again on your own? You know how to do it, but she's ran, she's run out of money financially. So you're going to have to get a job, build yourself up for a little bit. But then I would start it again. Yeah, you know? I definitely would. You know, new name. Isn't he it can't like, touch you. I could be getting this very wrong, but I'm sure Tinder, mm. a man and a woman started Tinder together and the man pushed her out of the business. And that's why she went and made Bumble. Oh my God, is that legit? Yeah. That's a, like a legit story. Yeah. So this could all be part of your success story further down yeah, the line. And like, I know obviously, it's hard to see it in that light right now, but. And obviously the. the Don't let this discourage you from, if you want to start your own business. Doing it again. You want to be in cosmetics. Like don't feel like you can't, like you created that. Like you did that. Because obviously. So all- don't let this like tarnish your confidence no and your abilities to start a business because you know yeah. you can do it you've yeah. just been absolutely fucked over and that's just what's happened here and i'm not sure if there's a, a magic fix that like we can't go back in time we can't change things mm. it's kind of just you've just ha- been dealt a bad set of cards here and i don't really know what I mean, what we've learned here is, is that we're not going to go into business with anyone else ever. You, no, you're going to own 100% of it. You're going to do it all yourself, mm. unless it's your family. Even then. I know, but th- I'm sure we can trust the family. They, they were helping out. But but even, but yeah, mm. do it all yourself. Never speak to this guy again. And unless, you know, only Don't through lawyers, only through lawyers. If yeah. we get, if that becomes a situation, do not let him back in your life. What a freak. I mean, at least... The, I mean, the business is going to fail now because he doesn't know how to do any of it. He doesn't know how to run He's it. just snatched some stock and okay. When what, that runs out, what you're going to Okay, do? so you don't have my help. You don't have all my family's help anymore. No. I did all of this and you just did that. You were just mm. the little face of the social. And success is the best revenge. Like let this exactly. motivate you. I know it's so much, when you're financially drained, it's so much easier said than done, but let this motivate you to think, I'm going to fucking show you that I can do this on my own and I'm going to come back up. Like mm. I might be feeling like I'm at the bottom right now, mm-hmm. but like, I'm going to climb back up and you're going to see me. I am going to be thriving. And that is going to be he, his punishment. Yeah, and he deserves no ounce. It's not got good karma coming his way. Not at all. He deserves no ounce of of, of your time, your, any more of your money, Mm-mm. any more... Uh, anything. Anything. So I, I, I hope he's now blocked everywhere. Because you can't I hope just, you can get some money back. Me too. I think just... Call up a lawyer. Does a fa- does one of your family members have a lawyer that they use that they can trust that can just like do a favour and just like talk to you for a minute? Maybe someone you know, might does, know. Does someone. like your uncle be like, oh look, my know lawyer, a guy. Will do, you know? Does and someone then, know a guy? Does someone know a, a guy who can help me out here? Because like, bit of counsel, on. just something, just so we, so we can talk to someone legally, see if there's anything that could be done. If not, take we have to just act do? like it doesn't didn't happen. What a freak! Onwards what a loser! Upwards. Like you don't want to be like, like he was a narcissist, deeply insecure. A freak. This is Hello a there. serious message, I would say. Absolutely. This is a, just, just a brief interruption to the, the, to the broadcast. There we go. A brief interruption just to merely say, please, please, Simple we beg favor. of you to please subscribe. Please subscribe. Once again, that is please subscribe. subscribe. We're trying to hit 100k. It'd be we lovely really to get a plaque. And on, you know you what? guys are getting us pretty close. Uh, you guys, you know, we could put it on the wall. We could share it together. We, we could. celebrate. It would be a team effort. Yes. Yeah, so it would be just lovely. Please subscribe to the channel. It would mean so much to us and it helps the channel out a lot. It helps the podcast and it's, it's a very quick, simple step. So Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy the rest of the broadcast. Alrighty, we're switching up the vibes. Alrighty, Rue. Uh, help, how do I tell my friend he stinks? Awkward. Body odor is, it's definitely a thing. I mean, we know? had an issue with and being in close contact with someone who had body odor. Oh my God. We'll save that for oh the end of the dilemma. Oh my God, we did. We'll no, let but you know how we a, did it, how we dealt with it. But also when you're in a relationship, hygiene is, you know, it, it's respectful to your partner to have good hygiene, especially when you're getting intimate. She's saying, how do I tell my friend he stinks? So that's like me saying to you, how do I tell you that your boyfriend fucking stinks? <laughs> like it's I'm like, I'm nose blind to him right. because I'm with him every day. 
Me and my friend, Sarah, have a dilemma about our friend. Oh, we'll call him Brian. I think the boy is just their friend. We have been friends with Brian for a very long time, 10 years, and we are in a big group of friends and are all very close. Yeah. We spend most of our weekends together. To put it bluntly, Brian has bad hygiene and smells, and we do not know how to tell him. Let's set the scene. Okay. Brian's flat used to be the hot spot for people to go to. It was very central, mm -hmm. brill, when we were all young, wanted yeah, to go out. However, over the past couple of years, a lot of our friends have been buying houses. So his house is no longer the go-to spot. Okay. I would even say no one goes there. <laughs> Since this, <laughs> we have noticed okay. he has not been making as much effort as usual with his personal mm -hmm. hygiene mm -hmm. or the cleanliness of his home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have noticed plaque on his teeth, a general lack of washing himself or his clothes. Okay. However, there have been special occasions where it's not been as bad. We have mm -hmm. tried giving him lots of hints, mm -hmm. but nothing seems to be working. It's getting to the point where we don't want to spend time with him because of this. Oh. No one wants to talk to him about it because it's embarrassing and awkward. Yeah. And although we are close, it's just something we feel we cannot approach. Yeah. We have thought about an anonymous letter but feel this is me, <laughs> that is me. <laughs> and don't want to hurt his feelings or offend him in Send any way. Send someone into turmoil. <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> the most letter. That would post. literally be First the most stamp. terrifying thing to receive. <laughs> what, what can we do without having <laughs> a letter? What can we do without having a face-to-face -face right. combo with him? How do you tell someone they need to wash more? It's been going on for so long now, we don't know what to do. Thank you, I Sarah mean, and Susan. Sarah and Susan, I mean, you said you've given hints. <laughs> so the... Because we gave hints. We would yes. walk in and go, God, it smells in here. Let's open the window. We fucking Let's get some was. Febreze in here. And we'd be like, God, what we go, what is that? I go, ooh, stinks. God, but, but, but a person who smells, they work. don't know that they smell. Their nose blind. That, your nose blind. Because a lot of the time. A lot, because that's just what their clothes, you know, your clothes smell like. Like, mm. it's like the home smells when we're at primary school. Like, we knew whose cardigan was whose because of the fucking scent on it. But you can't really smell. Your cardigan yeah. is the one that has no smell. Like, I would, <laughs> I wouldn't, like, I, I don't know what your new, like, I don't know if you've ad ad adopted a new smell. Adopted I know what Chelsea's yeah. family home smell yeah. is. And I know what your family home, you know how <laughs> petrifying like, that I is. I know what my family home smell is. I know your smell. If you gave me that Sacred Heart Primary School cardigan and there was 10 of them and it was like, you know, pick, pick Sophia's. <laughs> yours that was one. so distinctive as well. So much yours! <laughs> like it was the scent. Isn't that so scary? Yeah, it's so weird. And everyone else. <laughs> Helen B. Yeah. That's fucking yours. Sarah like, M, that's yours. So it, it, it's like a thing, like you don't really know. And like, I've been wearing my perfume now for like two years. I can- You can't smell it on I yourself. I can't smell it. Yeah. And you then, do go nose blind. And then it's nice when go, oh, you smell nice. It's like, oh, brilliant. Cause I can't fucking smell it on me anymore. I'm you can tell. Yeah. yeah so it, I do think the kindest thing to do in this situation is you've got to tell them. I just, think- But just one person. One person. Not a big like group, like fucking like, ha cause that's embarrassing. You don't want to embarrass him. Yeah. I think whoever out of you two, Sarah or Susan, is like closest to You're him. You're gonna have to do it. Arrange to because you don't want to lose your friendship over this. No, like, and that's also sad. like he may not know. He, he doesn't know. That's the he thing. He probably doesn't. I'm sure he doesn't know. Yeah. So you need to, Sarah or Susan, just say, I don't know how, but that's the only way. Otherwise, you 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 guys just aren't gonna be friends anymore, and that's sad. It is sad. Like, you need to say like, this comes from a place of love. As one of your best friends for like years and years. I've got you. Yeah, like I love you and I'm here for you. And like, I don't want to be having this conversation either. Mm. But, but there you go. <laughs> That's really tough. It's, I mean, you it's might- It's awkward, and, and, but also, no one wants to do it. You might feel like you can't even do that. And I get it. I, I, I get I it. I don't even feel like I don't- ugh. Out. But then what do you do? But then what do you do? If if, if you don't want to, it depends what you find. Like, because at the moment you're losing him as a friend, right? Would you rather just lose him as a friend? Because you don't want to hang out because you don't want to go to his house. Yeah. Would you rather just lose him as a friend or like face the face the music, tell mm. him, sort this out and then you can be friends again. Everyone happy families. I know. Or is it, or are you happy? Or just do we see arrange him? like, because you said when you were going around to his house regularly, mm. he was like naturally guests are coming over. When guests are up, coming. You know, and 
everything was fine. So do we of arrange course. a hangout at his house, spur him into a bit of cleaning action? Yeah, we definitely could do that. But then I think, and you totally don't want to go around to his house, do you? Well, well, well there's, the, well, yeah, but it might be good. Hmm. I think you should check on check in on him. Definitely. I don't want to take this down like a, a sad route, but it could even be a case of like maybe mentally he's he could be on, going on a bit of a something. downhill and then he's neglecting himself mm. and his surroundings. Cause sometimes when you get into those bad states, like your environment is is a mm. mess and it's reflective of that. So, so maybe, maybe don't maybe lead look with at it from that perspective. Yeah, maybe like, don't lead with the scent. Maybe thing. just go like, are you okay? Like you've not been taking care of yourself as much as you used to. Yeah. Like the, maybe focus it on the flat. Like, and you can say that in quite a like, you know, friendly way, like mm. fucking hell, clean it's up. It's not like an a intervention mess. thing. Yeah. And you could start yeah. there and maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe wouldn't begin with You his... need to wash. I think lean into, yeah, I'm checking Everything in you. Everything okay? Uh, like, a, like a wellness check. Like, are you okay? Check, like I've word. noticed yeah. a few, you know, things that, you know, w are, weren't typical of you a couple of years ago. You seem to be letting uh, things slide Yeah, a bit. as you're one of your best friends, I, I'm just- wanna Can't help but notice. Checking on you and, and like, how are you doing? Seriously, like, how mm. are you doing? Because men need to be asked that also. Yeah. Maybe go down that route. And, and but just one or, or maybe just you guys could get breakfast with him or whatever. Mm. Because it might be more and just than have like the, what's on the surface. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Good luck. That is, it's, it's an yeah, awkward, do not send the anonymous one. letter. I mean, I that, that would not, send me into you a do. spiral. <laughs> do an not anonymous send. letter, I think someone would be coming around to murder me. <laughs> do not send an anonymous letter, hand please. Written, handwritten note. <sighs> Ink and quill. Okay, final one of the episode. Let's round it off. And this, I mean, uh, this is a nightmare none of us want to live through, to be honest. But a lot of that today. Honestly, it's it's been it's a whirlwind. Been like that from beginning to yeah. end. So picture this, everyone. On a break with my boyfriend of four years, dot dot dot. He sleeps with uni friend twice. Side note: Before we even begin this, breaks we are, are so scary. Conducting our own survey, and we would like to hear from you yes. if you have had a successful break. Yes, because we were discussing. Yes. I think we may have discussed this before. Memory. We were discussing if a break ever really works if it can be productive or if it's just like basically the first step towards a break up start the end so we wanted to hear some positive stories because we feel like we've not really heard that <laughs> well <laughs> yeah, this, this is help. a negative story i okay, mean let's this get is into like it. also it's like because if we're if a break is ever ever i don't see them as personally it's not how i would like to operate but if it was ever to be in the realm you have to at least lay the law of the of the rules of the land. We learned that from friends, and at a we've young said age. that ab years and years. We've said this many a time. So obviously, you it's not thought, news to anyone. Obviously, you thought this break might be just space. Mm. He thought it was a it was a fuck fest with his weenie Fruit Wally Willy with his with his weenie pepperami weenie <laughs> mini pepperami. <laughs> With his mini pepperoni <laughs> and he's perusing it through all the corridors of the yeah. fucking uni accommodation. Line up, line up. I'm on a break. Line up, line up. What was it? The walrus and the and the the, the, <laughs> the will the Wilbur trials or something. <laughs> okay. Like no. Okay. Let's see what went wrong like here. You make, then. Like that makes me feel sick. We're on a break, and your first thought was you wanted to put your willy somewhere else. Mm -mm. Hi, girls. Never thought little old me would be writing in, but we are. Alas. Alas, the time has come. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend are on a break, full stop. I was warned, breaks don't work. <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Boy, were they right. Mm -hmm. I was starting to feel we were not communicating well. Both being first year uni, but at different unis, it has been a struggle. God, that's tough. I don't know if anyone could get through that. To, to handle working, having different friend groups and becoming used to living on our own, apart, I suggested, I suggested a break in March. God, How long is this bloody that? break? We're in July. No. April, May, June. If Form you were break. ever to go on a break. It, 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 guys. No, I'm just asking. Yeah, but I'm just saying, let's never, let's just no, not even do it. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just no. asking. If you were to ever, ever. find yourself in that situation, Never say never. What is the time frame that you think is acceptable for a break? Month max. Do yeah. you think? I was going to say two weeks. Because like, 
I mean, yeah, but is that enough time to like really gain perspective? Maybe a mm. month. Maybe a month. Yeah, I think you're right. Because two weeks is a holiday. I'm going yeah. on holiday for two weeks. Uh, two, three months. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -mm -mm. We may as well be broken up. Yeah, we may as well be. We may as well have broken up and got back together. That would have been be better. The problem was... <laughs> God, we did not establish boundaries. Right. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, you it's must like, be a new listener because I feel like our girls know this by now. <laughs> well, <laughs> if it, we're going on a break, we're establishing boundaries. Yeah. Well, it's like, are you? Are we dating? That is one of the. Or are we? Uh, like, what is this? What is the purpose of this break? Yes. To be What's single. What's the purpose? What are we hoping the outcome of this break is? Are we still committed? Why to are each we other? having a break? Why are we having this break? Great question. When we don't even live in the same city. So it's mm. just, so, I mean, so for you, you've took it as you're off the hook and you can sleep and with when are the next we girl gonna, in the Are we halls. going no contact? If so, when will we be back in contact? Mm. Are we single on this break? Are we still in a relationship? Yeah. There's a many, yeah. many things that need to be established yeah. before the break commences. Yeah, of course. But now you know that for next time. Yeah. I mean, hopefully that, I mean, I'm sure you'll be traumatized from breaks. <laughs> you won't ever be going to break since, ever again. <laughs> oh, okay. So since being back in our hometown for summer, we have slept together a few times, but we felt like we needed to clarify what we were actually doing. And if our relationship was back on the cards, it mm -mm. sounds like to me, you've, you, you kind you of just broke pretty up. much had a breakup. Yeah. Because I but could you didn't not want to call it that. But yeah. But this one time he took me out for breakfast and ch to chat. He paid, you know, I sent him half the money as we always did that. Okay, fine. Okay. Didn't want to treat me after fucking six, right. six months apart. Fucking hell, <laughs> but fucking that's fine. Loosen the purse strings. No, we're at uni, we're students. Mm, sorry. <laughs> you said, didn't want to treat, I was just feeding off what you said. Didn't want to treat me after six months apart. Fucking hell. I say, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh. Come on, a latte, three pounds. I know, I only had, you know, fucking scrambled eggs yeah, on white on. bread. Right. But didn't even get any side, didn't even get the extra halloumi. Know, didn't come even on. get hash browns. Well, I want it was a croissant. Right. That's so, okay, so you're like, okay, you're taking me out for breakfast. Well, we're going for breakfast. Mm. We're chatting. What's going this on This is here? giving like, we're slipping back into relationship vibes. Mm. But, oh God. As we were driving home, after having a civilized breakfast, Okay. He says he's lost his head as he wanted more time to be single, but also our relationship back. You can't say this shit, you silly man. Men are from I've Mars. lost my head. I've lost my head. I want to be single. I want to sleep with all these girls, but, but I want to be with you. Mm, 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 that tells mm, me you're not ready for me in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you can't handle all, I all of this. Know. Right? You're not man enough for all of this. No. Because like the fact that you think you can disrespect me by saying that right. is absurd. Right. You're looking me in my eyes and saying, I still want to be single. I still want to sleep with every, every single, single girl. woman I come across in my uni but halls. I want to be in a relationship with you. How you disrespectful. You think you can say something like that to my face and I'm going to take you it. You should have said, tell me about it. I'm having like such a good time with there all we these go. guys. My God. I am learning so many new things. <laughs> There's so many walruses in the world. So many little mini pepperonis. Who knew I was going to settle for a mini pepperami. There we go. You should have given yeah. it right back because he would be so. He wouldn't know what hit him because he thinks he can say all this shit. Because he knows that most likely you are heartbroken, about. worried yeah. about him, thinking about him a yeah. lot, wishing things were back together, you the way they were in your glory days. Yeah, of course. He knows that you're probably sat there on your best behavior. And that's why he can go out and have all this fun because he's not worried about you. He's not worried about what you're doing. He's not, you know, feeling sick at the thought of you with other guys because that's not happening because you've treated this break as time to reflect, you know. Do I want to be in this relationship? Yeah. Let me take this seriously. He's just viewed it as I get a couple months of few hall pass. passes. Yeah. Hall pass denied, my friend. Yeah. This is going on So no I further. said, so I responded to that and I said, is that because you haven't had any time to be single? So you're thinking, oh, maybe he has been sat pondering mm, our relationship. In the darkness of his bedroom, yeah. alone at night. Meaning, you know, have you got with anyone? Ew. And he replied, you don't want to know. Oh, please. Please. Later please. telling me. Who do you think you are? Later telling me that he had. Bearing in mind, we know. had been together for please. three and a half years and both hadn't ever slept with anyone else before. 
Wow. So that was a really big. <sighs> that was a big thing. That was a that was a massive. That like that. That's it, that's it now. Yeah. That, and also that's totally changed that, your vibe yeah. because it's like, oh yeah. my God. So now if we were to get back together, yeah. like we've not got this thing anymore that we were each yeah. other's first and yeah. only, like you've actually gone out and done yeah. X, Y, and Z with yeah. fucking- Like you've tarnished it all Mary, now. Sar like, Mary, the, the first Sally and chance, Susie. Yeah, the, mess, the first chance you got, you saw bloody Mary and you went straight yeah, for it. Yeah, you went straight for it. Hmm. Oh. I was his first everything, even kiss. I was so shocked. Yeah. I feel you like this see is that a classic coming, thing that from like childhood sweethearts when you're every, and it's like, you have this, it's like, do, we, do I need to explore? Do I need to sleep with other vagina? You know, mm. he's probably got his fucking friends down his fucking neck saying, oh, you've only slept with one, one girl? Yeah, Oh come my on. God, Kim Allen, so many vaginas out there. Yeah. And <laughs> so he's thinking, out there to explore. yeah, he's thinking, yeah, fuck me. Yeah, mm. so many vaginas to <laughs> yeah, explore. Yeah, lads, lads, lads. <sighs> And he's fucking gone and bloody done it. <laughs> he's gone and bloody Turns done out it. it's some girl from his uni group I had met. Oh. And he slept with her twice on two separate occasions. Well, I'm glad he's at least told you mm. something. Mm. Bearing in mind, the thing Cheryl. that upset me is that he hadn't let me know he had slept with this girl when sleeping with me. Of course. Wow. Deceit and deception. Also not sanitary. Not I at all. I don't know what you've now Have contracted? you even watched your willy? Have you watched your Willy Wolonky Long? <laughs> that's yeah. not, that's no. luring me in under false pretenses. Exactly, because I'm thinking, oh, here we are reconnecting I in the summertime. I hope he got tested in between changing sexual partners. Seriously. So being a girl boss that, I'm, that I am. Go on, girl. Let's have it. I got him to send me the money back for breakfast. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Oh, thank God. That's the least you could have done. Thank God for that. No, good. Because it's like, how fucking dare you? Yeah. I slept with send you twice this back. week and we've come out for breakfast. Now, only because I've pressed you on some issues have you then told me mm. what's actually gone down in Sheffield. Mm -hmm. The problem wow. is I had not been a saint. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. And good. I had... I'm, I'm no, glad. me too. I'm glad. I'm and glad. I, yeah, and I have kissed some randomers. Oh, fine. Good for you. Get back out there. Take it a bit further next time. Yeah. Let's do this. Which he knew about and claimed that he only slept with her twice because he was mad at me for kissing someone. Oh, oh. so it's my fault. Oh, oh fuck oh. off. Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. How, How dare, dare you? you? So it's my fault that you put your willy in someone else's vagina. That is... Please. That please. is in sanity that is outrageous that is, the way he trying to spit at the, i only did it because you made me fuck, fuck off. off what are you on about you twat what are you on about but i think it is completely different yeah no one forced you to put your willy in her vagina <laughs> you idiot get a fucking grip get a better excuse while you're out literally I constantly think about it. Do you think it's worth trying again? No. Every time I see him, I can't get out my head. Is it because they are just raw feelings? Yeah. When feelings I am will 29, will I look back and think, wow, that was silly? Yeah. Yeah. I understand we were on a break. I just feel disrespected as a girl too. Is it worth putting effort in now when we are both in the same town to then in September becoming crazy again when he says he's going to the pub in case she's there? Exactly. I don't want all that for me or for him. Mm -mm. This is over. Please find pictures attached. Thank you so much. Uh, two of us at the race is where I met her. Oh, brilliant. Oh, God. Okay, so here we are at the races. <sighs> I mean, he looks innocent, but he's clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so innocent. God, what yeah. these men are He doesn't look not. as deceitful as the previous <laughs> no, man. he doesn't. Um, but he's still a deceiver. <laughs> De uh, deceptor. He's still from Mars at the end of the day. Oh, I've got another right. one on holiday. Oh, he does look sweet, but he's not sweet. But he's not. Oh, enjoying a thousand lies and you're gorgeous also enjoying yeah, gorgeous. a gorgeous sangria i think sometimes the hardest part here is just letting it sink in that even if you did get back together x y and z your relationship unfortunately is never going to be what it was no. things have happened now that we can't erase mm -hmm. you've inevitably got these feelings now about mm -hmm. well now he slept with other people mm -hmm. and he didn't tell me about it and, da, 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 and it's da. scary to realize that he was capable of that yeah like, like and the relationship at the end mm -hmm. of the day is never going to be the same anymore mm -hmm. and i think this is just a good example of 
we need to just let this go now Run because you've said yeah whilst we're both home for summer it's quite convenient we're kind of like living how we used to live we're going on some old date spots that maybe we've had you're coming to pick me up like really yeah, life's easy pretty to good. slip back there's into no one that. else in the hometown that i you know i'm, mm-hmm. I'm interested in and mm-hmm. same for him yeah. but then yeah you said it you go back september he's we're back to where we were and now you know that he slept with this girl and it's just never gonna mm. be what it was mm-mm and yeah, he yeah. used this break as mm-hmm. a time for, well, this is my time to go and see what's out there mm-hmm. and see if the grass Boy, is greener. If it's not, I'm going to try and get back with Sarah, but I'm going to try and have some fun. And he did exactly that. And if, came you know, back. if you did the same, if you did the same and I don't know, you, you've just, I don't think you, it's just not going to be what it was. No. And he came back and he slept with you straight away. Yeah. Didn't even have the courtesy to, tell to you. sit you down and to tell you, look, we actually need His to figure something history. out because I've done something, you know, I know you kiss, you know, and, and you know, you slept with him twice, you know, and he wasn't honest. I don't like that. I don't like I that I also either. don't like that he said, oh, well, I only slept with her because you kiss. Fuck off that with that. That's bullshit. just just bullshit. Like, I think, and I do think you're seeing him differently now. Like, you're, you're not- seeing the light. You're not that sweet guy that I met. Like it wasn't like our first, you know, sexual experience. Like yeah. we're never going to have that again. And also it's just like, it's okay for things to end. Like yeah. we don't have to try and make this relationship last yeah. forever. We don't have to try and cling on to yeah. this. Like this is clearly f- yeah. fading out. It's yeah. not what it was. We've had great times. You're not times, who I thought you were. But things have changed. Yeah. Our environment's changed. Yeah. Our distance has changed. We have changed. Yeah. It's not what it was. We can let this yeah. go. I, and I, and thank you for everything you taught me. You were yep. my first boyfriend. You were my first everything. You know, you, you also were a bit of a Let's twat. Let's not ruin it anymore. End, you know, and I've learned a lot. You know, take take the beauty out of it. Take the lessons. And take the lessons. Take the growth. Move on. On to the next. We're going to head back up to the uni city and we're going to- Let's gonna do this. Let rip. Those boys that I kiss, where are you? Yeah, we're going to let rip. Because mm. there's and so fun. much. And yeah, you're gonna when you're 30, this is merely a story to tell your to, when you've when, got kids give it this time next year give it six no, months give it two months you're like why was i even fucking why did i not even just Thank break up God with him i cut i cut yeah because what there. a loser mm. like let him move on he'll realize what he lost anyway much he, better things on the horizon there we go easy peas yeah well a good note to end our we need a quote on. i think we need Bloody a quote hell. about the horizon i think we need a quote about moving on i mean we've had a business moving been on and moving on and we've had a, a boyfriend on a break, so we need some positive energy just to finish us off here. Moving on quotes. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. go. Um, what's coming is better than what's gone. There we go. We'll just leave I it at that. I think that's pretty good, don't you? We'll leave it at that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. If you would like an extra episode of the podcast, yes, please. You can get it every single Monday over on Patreon. Absolutely. We do two episodes a week. There's a whole group chat over there. There is indeed. It's a lovely community. So if you want to join, we'd love to see you over yes, there. Please. And Email your dilemmas yep. to hello at thegirlsbathroom.com. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, The Girls Bathroom. You know where to find us. Thank you. See you next Wednesday. If you're part of the group chat, we'll see you on Monday. If not, we'll see you back here next Wednesday. Bye. Bye.